So Susanna, uh, why don't you tell us what's, what's happening in Germany right now with the hotels? Well, in Germany, um, obviously all the travel has stopped. So all hotels, all restaurants are currently closed. Um, at the moment, until the 3rd of May, for sure. And then obviously every week, every other week, the government is reviewing the situation and then deciding whether we can do, yeah, start somehow traveling. Right. Um, are you talking to hotels? Oh yeah, I'm talking to hotels a lot. And you know, hotels are coming up with creative ideas, for example. So what, some hotels have opened just to offer their hotel rooms as home offices because you know, some families have a very f a small flat. So they're kind of like um, going into a hotel just to make sure they can work in silence. You know, they get right. toilet paper for free. So um, it's very great <laughs> stuff happening out there. But yeah. of course, um, not every hotel is able to do this. So a lot of hotels are entirely closed right now. And um, yeah, it's going to be very staggered in terms of how we open business again and how we can travel in the future. Yeah, right. so no one really knows uh, up until today what's right. going to happen when everything can go back to normal. Do it to take right. a time. Right, same thing here in the States. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, let's talk about what hoteliers can do now. Um, let's talk about their website. So what should they be doing with their websites right now? Well, obviously... Um, we have to make sure we keep people at work, right? So before firing people, um, rather think about putting them on short term and then they get government assistance for repaying the, the rest of the missing salary basically. But um, there is a lot of things you can do, particularly with a website, for example, from home. So there are always certain tasks you never have enough time for. So for example, go onto your website, check your content, um, update your search engine optimization, for example, update your images, double check all your products, um, have a look on the website traffic, how it behaved beforehand, and maybe find out if there have been some other markets interesting, uh, interested in your own website, and then you can maybe able to target them later once business comes back to life. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that's a very good um, thing to do right now because you can even evaluate past campaigns now to see what really worked best in the past and then try to kind of like reformulate that for the future to see, okay, if I have an action plan ready to go, how should I market my website um, just before opening again? Yeah, good. And that, I mean, what about the booking engine? Should they be concerned about the booking engine right now? Oh, oh, yes, for sure. I mean, with the booking engine, it's the same thing, right? I mean, there is a lot of things you can analyze, but there is a lot of things you can double check. And there is one thing I would um, recommend every hotelier to do is, for example, looking at your booking conditions. Yeah, like, um, you know, refundable rates are very difficult to sell nowadays. So maybe take off that non-refundable offer. So people can, you know, book in more confidence, a flexible rate with, with shorter cancellation deadlines to just give them the peace of mind. They can still cancel just in case the corona crisis goes on. So I think a little bit of a strategy change needs to happen to both give confidence to the guests, but also, you know, to, to, to work on your forecast. I mean, at the end of the day, um, no one really knows what's going to happen in the next three, six, or even 12 months. So we have to be able to react really, really fast. So it's very good to have a drawer full of campaigns, some tools you can pick and choose from. And then once the situation clears up a little bit, then you can start one thing after the other to see if you can get more traffic, hence more direct bookings. Um, once everything is going to be easier. Okay. There's some strong advice from Susanna. Thank you. You're welcome.